Mr. Josh Sharp. Take it away, Josh. Coffee shop, I smoke round my head like I'm lost in the clouds. And I don't know where, and I don't know why, but I'm still right here, waiting for time to pass me on by. Seven months went around the bend. I lost a lot of time and I lost one friend. And I don't know why some people gotta live a lie. But all I know is that I'm right here, I'm making the most out of my tears. On your own, no warning signs Ooh, I know where this road will take me this time Now I drew some blood some love and I said some things I'm not proud of cause I've been drunk oh yes and I've been high and I wasted my time on material lies oh, sometimes life lets you go on your own no warning sign Fantastic. Fantastic. I, 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 that's, you know, I got a crowd. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that is great, Josh. That's a great song, man. Yeah. What's that about? Um, that's about um, a life lesson. Um, uh-huh. You see, oh, let me just get closer. Yeah, just get closer to the mic so people can hear you. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that song, that was a song called Coffee Shop that mm-hmm. I, um, well, it's better if I explain it from sure. the origin. Go uh, ahead. So nice it was, song. It was about September 2011, um, almost about a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I moved up to California, back to California where I'm originally from. And so you're from California. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. from Orange County. Orange County, all right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And so I moved out there. Me and my friend, we we're trying to do this. Um, we we're trying to do this, uh, you know, make it or break it kind of thing. Sure. And he played the guitar. I, pl- I sang songs and wrote. And we known each other since birth. And we're like, you know, let's just go for it while we're young. And it was something I was kind of hesitant on just because um, I was moving away from everything that I had built here in Hawaii for the, the past, like, four or five years. And, you know, just going for it and having nothing, nothing, you know, with you but mm-hmm. a guitar. Mm-hmm. And yep. so... Um, yep. So we were doing that for about seven months in. It mm-hmm. just didn't work out, and mm-hmm. you know he mm-hmm. got into some some bad drugs and stuff. And mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so I went away and mm-hmm. just came up with that song. It's kind of um, one of my more honest songs that nice. I've written. I love it. Yeah, actually, it was in Starbucks when I thought of the idea to do it. That's perfect because that's exactly what it is. It's, <laughs> it's a coffee, coffee shop. shop. <laughs> that is excellent. I know there's some rivalry with coffee bean, but 
That's all right. That's all right. Uh, so, so you la- you 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 are from Hawaii, or um, um, I don't. You said you're from California, or are you Hawaiian, or Californian? Um, no, I was born and raised in a, a little town called San Clemente. San Clemente. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, it's been there. Great town. I love it. Nice Perfect town. Little town. Beautiful little town. Yeah, and I moved away when I was fifteen. Um, yeah. Twenty now. So I've just been wow. living in Waianae for the past five. You're years. You're twenty years old, man. Yeah, I'm about to be twenty-one, Damn, dude. That's. <laughs> Yeah, man, you're very talented. Thank you. D- Duff said you were talented. Duff. Uh, yeah, I had a friend, uh, one of the guests uh, that I had on the program before. I saw him at the North Shore at the coffee shop up uh-huh. there. And I said, you know, hey, I got this new midday show. You want to play? And he said, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe my friend would like it. And he, that's when he told me about you. Uh-huh. And I said, yeah, I'd love to hear him. You know, and he says, if he thinks you're great, <laughs> I said, okay, let's give him a try. So, you know, thank you for being here. No problem. I love it. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so what brought you out to the islands? Um, it was just uh, kind of uh, my family wanted to get away from the whole uh, kind of rat race out there. Yeah. I mean, San Clemente is a, you know, it's a beautiful little town, but it's the only one of its kind in there, I, I think. I think it's one of the better towns in Southern California. Yeah, but most people work in L.A. and Yeah. Right? They live yeah. out there, but they'll have to drive that. Yeah. That yeah, and they're originally from Texas, so they're not really, oh, really? they're not used to the whole... Uh, Where in Texas? Uh, Central Texas, a uh, t- little town called Temple. Temple, yeah. Yeah, I um, lived in Texas for a while. My parents live in Texas. South of Waco. Yeah, my brother go, went to UT, oh, stayed nice. in Austin, moved to Austin, never left. Welcome Howard. Yeah, yeah, I love Austin, man. Uh, so that's great, man. So now you're out in the North Shore, and is that where you're staying? No, I live in uh, my Ely. I still live with my parents. Um, that's fine yeah that's but we fine. we live uh right on the beach so it's like i can put up with that <laughs> fantastic that's the best place <laughs> I'll, I'll live here until i'm 40 and then i might think about moving out yeah so what what are your plans man are you yeah got, um, um you know you, yeah i got a cd right here seven oh, songs nice. that are recorded okay uh my mom just helped me uh do the label right here oh nice yeah, I usually okay. usually I um just I got a sharpie and wrote uh the seven songs on the CD and mm-hmm. Josh Sharp. It looks really ghetto. I got away with it for a little while uh-huh. and then I was it has to go. It has uh-huh. to go. So um yeah, my mom helped me with it. It's really cool. Uh the Artiste family on the North Shore took the pictures mm-hmm. uh Spirit and mm-hmm. um Stevan and everyone they were there and this photo shoot and yeah, and we just popped it out and made nice. a cool looking little CD. So where do you play around town? Um, I recently just got hooked up with um, uh, two gig, two two taco gigs. One tacos and more in Y and I on Sundays. And tacos then, and more, yeah. And then just tacos and Milani on Thursday. Nice. And then nice. Um, just playing every. I started out doing open mics, and it was just kind of like a free thing where you go go wherever on the island for three songs, and mm-hmm. it was just kind of entrepreneur kind of thing, and didn't really get paid. And then sooner or later, I found myself into some uh, pretty cool gigs. You said you played at Surfer the Bar? Yeah, I do the open mic there. I'm actually going to play there tonight. After tonight, okay. So if anyone wants to come out. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you hear, o'clock. you can <laughs> catch you can catch Josh at Surfer the Bar at yeah. Turtle Bay in yeah. uh, in the North Shore. It's a really fine open mic on Tuesdays. That's yeah, a great bar, too, man. I love that place. Yeah, it's I real love it. cool. I love it. It's got a great atmosphere when you walk into it. It's just boom. Yeah, and I know. I know there's a lot of people that go there. Yeah. For the show, so uh-huh. I'm sure you get a good crowd. Yeah, there's there's yeah. sort of I'm always looking out for a couple of mm-hmm. professional surfers because they're like my I know. heroes. Right? I know, of course. I'm always looking out for them, like of just because they're like they're like to me what people Hollywood people are to like the Hollywood a list sure. listers, just because they're they're so cool and they're I know I look up to them and. So that's cool. But and they're they're the kings. Yeah. They're just the best. They're yeah. the most ballsiest people yeah. in the world. Yeah, I would never go into those waves. I, mean, I longboard. That, that's about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shred like those guys. Yeah, body surf. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. All right, you got another one for us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one is also on the CD. All right. All the ones I'm playing are going to be uh, on the CD. Okay. And this one is uh, Down to the River. Down to the River. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, please, palakpakan po natin si Apo Josh Sharp.
guy man you got some deep lyrics thanks yeah yeah that's fantastic yeah i, I draw from i think johnny cash and bono have the best deepest lyrics <laughs> that's John, who I try what, to a, what a contract johnny uh, cash and bono that's yeah, uh I was just listening a to big range car on the way here. that's nice man music. Uh, you must be educated you study um no i graduated uh high school in a uh, couple a yeah 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 and then after that that's when i did the whole california thing mm-hmm. and um and I thought, um, you know, just go for it. I, I mean, because school is not for me. I mm-hmm. thought that, um, you know, it is for some people. But for me, I, I knew in my senior year and probably throughout most of my high school career that yep. I'm not very good at I did. I did graduate uh, cum laude. I don't know. Exactly yeah, well, you know, hey, Bill, Bill Gates didn't feel like going to school either. And yeah. uh, neither did Michael Dell. You know, neither did many, many musicians and many, many geniuses and things like that. So it's not a guarantee. Yeah. Uh, but uh, your lyrics are great, man. Your lyrics and your, your music. Um, Thank you. I don't want to say Jack Johnson because Jack Johnson seems a little, you, you have more of a gut. You have mm. more raw, rawness to your music. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think it's great um, because. Yeah, I grew up on Jack Johnson um, when I was living in California when mm. I had never even been to Hawaii. I mm-hmm. uh, grew up on his albums and then um, his lyrics also very, very good and deep on some of his older stuff and yeah I'm a, I'm a huge fan of him he's great so do you do any band stuff or you just do a solo guitar yeah singing? i just do well um yeah i don't really do any band stuff you when don't i, do band when I stuff. can at surfer there's this uh connie capilla band they're real good and i yeah. play with them sometimes but i mean just for the most part i've learned over in you know, the past like my past four or five years that mm-hmm. i don't do well in bands yeah um that's okay yeah so I mean, neither did bob really dylan that. Yeah, he's, he's and great. look at him. I don't know if you know these guys. Oh, I do. I've been getting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to date myself, but this guy's so young. I'm thinking, am I, do you know these musicians like Led Zeppelin? I mean, yeah, that, I love that's kind of Jimmy Pages. Breaks, yeah. That's like one of my favorites. That's sort that song actually reminded me of that last song. Give it keeps on raining. Love, yeah. love is gone to break. Yeah, it's, it's bad. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I know, I've been trying to get into Bob Dylan, but um, I recently just got into BB King this past week. My friend uh, Carrie, she uh, opened my eyes to the whole blues kind of world. How, how's the scene in the North Shore, man? You know, I stay in town, so I'm not really up there. I go there on the weekends. It's, um, 
you know, when they opened that uh, Surfer the Bar, it got a lot more... Um, it's happening. I, yeah, a lot more happening on the North Shore. and. Um, well, you got the Louis Buenos restaurant yeah. there. I love going there. I used to it's love a lot going. more relaxed, laid back. When you come here, it's just like, you know, where are the really fine restaurants and want to go walk Calacao. You want right. you just feel the city life and energy. I know, I know. But one of the things I love about the North Shore is when I go out, it's just a whole different feel. Uh-huh. You know, it's yeah. a little slower, a little yeah. more... You know, the air is clear. I don't it's know. Country, it's, yeah. It's country, it feels, and I want. I I hope they do do really keep it the uh -huh. way it is. I agree with them. We should keep the development here. Keep <laughs> yeah. country, country. Like a huge line that says stop here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the only thing is when the surf competitions come oh, in. Yeah. I mean, I just, it's impossible for me. I got I got a family. I mean, it would be better if we check in uh -huh. at a, some house or something than driving up there on a surf competition. Yeah, it is It's hectic. insane. It's very hectic. Not only do you have the surfers, but you have all the tourism there. And it's it's unbelievable. Triple Crown. Um, yeah. You know, they did the Eddie, uh, was it last year, a couple of years ago? Mm -hmm. That was insane. You couldn't even get, I couldn't get, I could not even get to that area. It's, I, I was all <laughs> the way to the walk. Yeah. area. <laughs> Because you couldn't, you couldn't move. The traffic will not move. Yeah, walked all the way from Waianae. No. It's just gnarly. <laughs> You're kidding? No, I'm joking. I oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did walk a little, but not that far. So okay. So um. So what what made you go into this acoustic singing, acoustic guitar singing? Um. Well, I've always uh, been drawn to uh, when I first heard Johnny Cash and when I was 13. That's where it all began. I think as far as I want to pick up guitar and learn and play and write. Well, not really write, but you know, it was Johnny Cash, and then it was U2 when I was 14. And then when I moved here, um, had a lot of time to myself. Uh, didn't know anyone. You know, over in Wine Island, there's there's not a lot of uh, yeah. There's there's a lot of locals that know Hallies, but I mean, I, I yeah. made a lot of good friends. But when I first got there, you know, no knew no one, so I spent a lot of time with um, with the piano. This little keyboard that i had and i just started writing songs and mm -hmm. that's where it, the whole inspiration began mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um yeah just started escalating up from there 16 17 and then that's i really great, yeah i really started to try and sing mm -hmm. and not to, to really work on my voice at 19 18 ish mm -hmm. um because like for every past year charlie's always tried to sound like a chris martin <laughs> and it was a really chris bad martin. imitation <laughs> and i wouldn't really call it singing mm -hmm. i would call it trying um but yeah, recently I just, uh, just, I don't know, just having it all come together. Yeah, I like, uh, well, you know, with idols like Johnny Cash and Bono, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's just great. I mean, those are yeah. great singers. and They're very honest. They're, you know, they're to the point. They're very soulful. Yeah. They go deep down with their lyrics. So, mm -hmm. you know, so that's, that's a great, that's a great uh, yeah. idol. Yeah, role model. First concert ever was U2, Atomic Bomb. Oh yeah. In 05. that is that was just amazing. 05. Oh, my God. <laughs> the you know when I saw U2, they were, the police were still together. No way. <laughs> Do you know the police? I don't know. If yeah, you know I've heard of them. I'm, who? <laughs> who? I'm dating myself with these bands, but I, the first time I saw U2 was they opened up for the police. Mm -hmm. It was on the Synchronicity tour. Wow. That's way beyond. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if you were born then. No, I was, <laughs> I was born just a couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, okay, you got another one for us? Uh-huh, yeah. You got yeah. a third um, one? All right, okay. This one is... I got to tune the string all the way up. It's all right. Go ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here talking with Mr. Josh Sharp. Uh, he is an acoustic guitar player, singer, and uh, he will be playing tonight at Surfer the Bar. So if you like what you hear, check him out at Surfer the Bar at the Turtle Bay Resort in the North Shore. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, palakpakan po natin si Apo Josh Sharp, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. In the heart of everything And the chaos this world brings you're the only one Making light of all you see But only in my dreams Is where you only are If I could only bring You outside of my heart I saw you in my dreams Walking through that sea 
a sea of blinding lights with no one by your side my heart it drops and froze as you were coming close should i not trust my eyes or just keep dreaming this time Song, a current song right now. I can't place it, but that could be a hit song, man. Just, just <laughs> that guitar and that singing. That's fantastic. All right, so why don't you tell people how they can reach you, Josh? Uh, um, what are you available for? You available for parties, or what? How, what do you? What do you I'm need available here? Available for anything. All right. Absolutely anything. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I've got my reverbnation.com slash Josh Sharp online. Um, and you can find my Facebook link from ReverbNation.com slash Josh Sharp to the Facebook music profile page. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of all over the, not all over the place. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, try and be around the island, try and play as much as I can. Actually, um, I just signed with a manager, um, back in December who Great. heard, who heard me at Surfer the Bar. Okay. And, um, yeah, we just signed and he lives in Los Angeles. All right. So he's probably listening right now. What's Excellent. Up? What's up, Chuck? All right. That's what you need. You know, you, you, people don't yeah. realize the importance of having a good manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. It's critical yeah, if yeah. you want to succeed in this business. Because then you'll have to do everything yourself. You just concentrate on your art, on your performance, and then uh, let the manager handle. Actually, you need a manager. You need a business Business manager. Your whole entourage. You need assistant. You need roadies. <laughs> you need you, a limo. You, you no. need groupies. <laughs> blonde groupies. <laughs> brunette groupies. I don't know. This guy's blonde, guys. So, you know. Yeah. Anyway, man, Josh, I just want to say, man, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you. appreciate it. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm... I, yeah, if you can make it on Friday, man, I, I I'd love for you to be on the midday show. We have a good crowd that listens, uh, 12 to twelve to 12.30 12 on okay. Friday, if you can okay. be there, yeah. right at the same station. Yeah, I'll be able to find it this time. You'll be able to find it this time. You've been here. You've <laughs> done that. Go, won't have to go up and down elevators twice. Yes, man. And I want to say thank you for sharing your wonderful talent with us this thank afternoon. Thank you for having me on here. Appreciate yes, man. You're a very talented, man. And, um, you know, I look forward to hearing more from you. Uh, did you get a chance to do a, a jingle for me? No, I no? I didn't know what you meant. No, let me I, let me tell you. Let, I was let me freaked out. No, no, let me let me uh, let me let me just let me just let you listen to this. This guy, this guy is a friend of mine. His name is Nathan Emmons. I don't, do you know him? Uh, no. Yeah, Art of Whimsy. Okay. Oh he, yeah, I know him. You know Art of Whimsy? Yeah. All right, he did this for me the other day because he cool he, he was a, he was on my show. I want you to listen to it. Maybe when you come back, you can have something from me. I'd love it. And whenever I play it, I always say it's going to come from you. Okay. Okay. So listen to this. Listen to this. Alan Alvarez on the radio, KPHI, 96.7 FM. 
Hawaii's hot Filipino hits. It's the midday show with Alan Alvarez. He's great, man. Dude, he whipped that out right here, right oh, where man. you are right now. I- I d- I'm not surprised. He's, yeah. he's so he's very talented. Yeah, so I said, you know, that's great, Nathan. So now every time I play it on on middays and even now, you know, if you guys uh-huh. look him up, Art, yeah. of Art of Whimsy on the internet, it's buy a few good. songs, a few bucks here and there. Yeah. It'll help him out, and you know. Please, I actually just saw him um, at the last open mic last week at Surfer Bar. Oh, was he at Surfer the yeah, Bar? Yeah, oh think, yeah, or great. The, the one before that. And yeah. He he broke a string on stage and he kept playing. It was, he, it was, yeah, he's fantastic. Hilarious. He's fantastic. Right. All right. Anyway, okay, that's it. So thank you very much, Josh. Again, and uh, listen, man. I hope I hope I wish you nothing but the best and success in yeah. this industry. And uh, hopefully, you don't get too big. You forget about us here no, no. on this little tiny Filipino no, radio right. station. <laughs> but uh, actually, anyway. um, my uh, do you know J.C. Bonin? J.C. Bonin. He's I'm a, not he's, sure. He used to be a popular uh, Filipino actor, but um, anyways, you know he. He loves to f- listen to the Filipino stuff. I don't know why I brought that up, but that's okay. Because he's him. Filipino. Yeah. Yeah, we all know each other, you know. <laughs> we, all can, we got everyone's <laughs> cell phone numbers. We call, it up, call each other up. All right. Okay. Hey, Josh. Thanks again, man. All right. Uh, so we're going to go top of the hour and we come back. The Legal Pinoy with Attorney Roda Yabes Alvarez. So don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. KPHI Honolulu. K244EL.